Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's review, we're going to be taking a look at The Construct, a driver from ThoughtSpace Athletics. So I've been trying out some of ThoughtSpace's lineup this year, and I have to say, you know, I'm pleasantly surprised in both the discs and the plastics that I've been trying out. Now, for the profile and feel of the construct, in the Aura plastic, it has a slight bit of dome to it, and also, I may be wrong, but I just feel like the parting line on the Aura is just a little bit lower than on the Ethos or the Ethereal, so please comment down below if it's just me or if it's really a thing. And with the profile, Ethos was pretty similar to the Aura, but the Ethereal, it was a little bit flatter. So when it comes to the feel, the Aura does have a bit of flexibility to it, also, it has a decent amount of tackiness to it, but a little bit of slip, versus the Ethos has almost no slip at all, as you can see. Also, it's fairly stiffer, so definitely the most comfortable, and I feel the most tacky of all the premium plastics. And then the Ethereal, it's super slippery, a little bit of flexibility to it. You're going to want to have those chalk bags ready uh, for any of those humid or wet conditions. So how is the flight for the construct? Well, this is in the Aura plastic, and honestly, of the three that I threw, the Aura seems to be the most beginner-friendly, uh, the least torque-resistant of the different plastic types, as we're going to see a little bit later. When thrown flat, I'm going to get a bit of turn in the mid-flight, and particularly, as you can see in the forehand, as soon as it gets out after a third of its flight, it just turned over immediately and went into a nice long turnover shot. It tried to fight out at the very end and depending how much height that you give it it will try to fight out at the very end but at least in this plastic it's something you can put on an Anheuser line and it's gonna hold that turn for a very long way now on hyzer yes when thrown on a hyzer it's gonna hold decently at least in this plastic again not nearly as well as the others it's going to have some flip up this may be the plastic for you if you're looking for um, a driver that's going to flip up to flat hold very straight and then have a decent amount of finish at the end or if you're just a slower arm player who's looking for a controllable speed 10 this could be the plastic that you are looking for but be sure to stick around to see just how changing out the plastic affects the flight Overall, the construct gave me very effortless distance, mainly because it has incredible glide to it. It has good workability in the early flight, so you can get it to start on an Anheuser line, get it to hold a little bit, it'll start to fight out of it, but then with the glide paired with that kind of flight characteristics, you can get really good distance with the construct. If you are looking for a driver that you can hyzer flip relatively easy and also can get absolute effortless flex shots out of for that max distance man the construct may just be the driver for you so let's go ahead and see how i use the construct out on the course the first hole we got a big tree right on the left hand side here there's another tree about two thirds of the way down the fairway i could try for a hyzer flip forehand however it's not going to push forward enough so i opt for the backhand turnover flex to get it around the first tree and then just have it pan and have that nice forward penetrating finish towards the basket around that second tree then for this hole, you do again have that early tree, but then you have another tree in the middle that's a little more left, so it can't really go the backhand turnover. So this, I have to power down on a forehand, get it to flip up to flat, hitting that line, and just let it hyzer in towards the basket. Now, you have a hole here. You've got both right and left. So using the understability of the um, construct, again, in the Aura Plastic, just going to rip it out flat and let the disc do all the work as it flexes around all the trouble perfectly. All right, so I mentioned it earlier. The construct does come in several different plastic types, and the flight of the construct does change depending on the plastic. Now, I do have it in the Ethos, and I also have it in the Ethereal. I apologize, I was not able to try the um, Ethereal Nebula. Hopefully, I'll be able to get my hands on one someday and be able to let you know how it flies. Now, for the Ethos, I, I feel like this one fits right in the middle. It has a good amount of turn in the mid-flight uh, when you put a lot of torque into it. However, when you do throw it at slower speeds, like my backhand, it just rides out incredibly straight and then just has a really hard finish. 
definitely a tick up in stability from the Aura. And then for the Ethereal, this is probably the most overstable plastic, at least that I threw. Perfect for people with a lot of torque, which also makes it perfect for forehanding as well. Plus, it did have that flatter profile, so it makes it even better for forehands. So with the lefty lines, you're going to see how all three of the different plastic types compare when thrown with a slower arm. The Aura, again, it has a really nice, gentle turn almost the entire way until the very end versus the Ethos. Maybe a smidge of turn, but it rides out straight, and then as it slows down, it just checks up and has a really hard finish. And then the Ethereal, very similar to the Ethos, but it checks up sooner, and again has a pretty stout finish to it. So how does the Contra compare to uh, discs from other companies? Well, if you're a Discraft thrower, I feel it compares mightily to the Vulture. Uh, they're the same speed, they have a very wide range of different shots you can hit depending on the plastic, so I feel those ones are very comparable, maybe a video for the future. And then when it comes to say Trilogy, like Latitude 64, very similar to the Grace. Now I would say that at least a slower Grace. Now I'll say the Ethereal more matches uh, the Grace's flight, Ethos more a slightly seasoned Grace, and then the Aura is more like a heavily seasoned Grace. So there are a lot of speed tens out there. So what sets the construct apart from others? Well, I have to say it's how many different shot shapes you can hit just based on the plastic. You really can find the one that works for you. Thank you all so much for watching the video, everyone. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be doing a giveaway at 7,500 subscribers, so be sure to subscribe. Also, like this video, and if you are looking for any disc golf discs, accessories, bags, apparel, go visit greatlakesdisc.com, use promo code LEFTY, get 10% off your order. And until next time, everyone, keep banging them chains.